how's it going? So, I have to prep for a music video shoot at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, that kind of sucks, dookie. And I have to be up at 4 a.m. because I need to leave here by 5 a.m. I need to prep everything before like this, you know, I can be all ready to go by the time I leave. But I figured, you know, I saw a silver lining and I figured I could use this opportunity to show you guys how I prepare for my music video shoots for when I work with Foreplay Clarinet. For those of you who are not aware, I play in a clarinet quartet called Foreplay Clarinet. We do music video covers of uh, songs from popular genres. Soon to have our own music though. And tomorrow we're shooting two music videos. I have to prep a bunch of stuff though beforehand because I'm getting up so early. I wanna have things laid out and ready to go before tomorrow because I have to get up really early. You know, I'm kinda of slow when I wake up in the morning and I don't I don't wanna to have to be worried about putting too much stuff together. I wanna to have most of it ready like this. All I have to kinda of get ready is my outfit, myself, and that's pretty much it. It's already like 9.45. I kinda of wanted to get to bed before 10, but I don't think that's happening, but I want to get to bed as soon as possible because I have to get, like I said, I have to get about around four in the morning to start getting ready for my day tomorrow. So let's get started and let me show you what I have to prepare. First, put away my clarinet for the night. Before I do that, I'm going to test a reed or two. Now for one of the acts, I'm going to be wearing lipstick. What? Clarinet players wear lipstick? Not usually. And if I'm being honest, seeing girls who wear lipstick and play clarinet at the summer, sometimes it makes me cringe. Fortunately, we're not really playing so much tomorrow or it's mostly just to get the video part. We've already recorded it in the studio and best believe I don't wear lipstick when I'm actually seriously playing clarinet. Now, nothing against people who do, but it's like you're ruining a perfectly good read with lipstick. But fortunately, I've used uh, a read, a really crappy read, for a photo shoot before that I didn't mind getting lipstick on. Get my ligature. And I found it and I want to see if it plays. If not, I'm gonna test another really crappy read that I can use this on. Hey, what do you know? It kind of plays good still. Maybe lipstick doesn't mess it up that much. I still wouldn't play with clarinet with lipstick though. So now that I have my read of choice, I'm going to put this away and start packing up my clarinet accessories. thing that I got to do is I got to pack my bag for tomorrow. You know, I always bring a bag to bring accessories, probably reads, music, other stuff like that. So in my bag, I'm going to be putting first my little bacoon tote. That's going to carry my bacoon. This is the, this is a bacoon. It's, I know it's kind of hard with the, this is bad lighting and it's a, a grenadilla wood barrel so you can't see it, but this is the traditional barrel in size 66 that I'm going to be using for the shoe tomorrow and my traditional Coon Bell. We're gonna be featuring some of these Bakun products that we were, that were sent to us in these music videos. So I'm stowing them away, putting them in their safe little case. Then I'm also gonna bring my music folder. We have all the memori music memorized, or at least we should, but you never know what's gonna happen. So I always bring my music just in case. Then I also bring my Hercules clarinet stand. Some more reads and eventually I'll put some makeup and other accessories that might help me with my outfit but for now I'm just gonna keep it to that um, I'm not gonna put my makeup away until I'm done doing my makeup in the morning so that's that I think on this end I'll probably also pack my phone accessories and stuff like that you know like a charger but I'm gonna be using it in the middle of the night so I'm gonna save that till the end <music> Okay, now before I head upstairs to wind down and get ready for bed, gotta make my breakfast beforehand. I like to make myself overnight oats. It's basically just my normal breakfast oatmeal mix with blueberries and stuff. Before. Sometimes bananas too. Um, it's really easy to make, and especially if you know if I'm feeling I, I mean, I don't know, I'm gonna be in a rush in the morning. It's gonna be night really early. Uh, I make this ahead of time, like I have something to eat, and you know. I have more than just like a banana or orange juice or something like that. I know most of my friends can go without doing a full meal, but when it's that early in the morning, I need to feel energized. And so overnight oats.
made my nice little tea. Now I'm gonna head upstairs to get ready my, oh, almost forgot. Giving myself a nice face mask before bed. You know, just freshen up my face. It's nice and cold, it's been in the freezer for a while. And while I take a shower, I'm just gonna let this thaw out. All right, all upstairs. Got my hot tea cooling off. My face mask thawing. And I'm gonna take a shower so I can clean myself up before tomorrow. clean. Now, time to put this on. Okay, excuse the mask. I'm gonna be talking through a mask for about a little bit. So while this is uh, cleansing me, moisturizing me, pampering me, let's go check on my outfit and see how that's going. Oh my god, nobody's gonna take me seriously in this mask. All right, there's my top my short and my red belt laid out. Don't know if I'm gonna wear that yet, but I don't really have too many red accessories and we're doing each a colored theme and red is my theme, so there's a red belt. Red flower crown, some bras that I'm gonna try out before. The t you can't tell from here, but the top that I'm wearing is pretty sheer. So, you know, gotta have some something that looks nice under the top. But since it's late and I don't feel like trying them all on right now, I'm just gonna do it tomorrow beforehand and then I'll figure that out. some already got my clothes prepped oh I forgot to get my shoes out but I can get those out last I'm not gonna be walking around with them at least until I get to set tomorrow because it's gonna be 5 a.m. their heels and there's wooden floor it's gonna be so loud if I wear the heels inside anyway so I'm gonna turn off all the lights and get ready for bed all right good night world the beauty of driving at 5 30 in the morning is there is no traffic history of time any other time I go to Hollywood. Shoot, I didn't bring my lip remover. This is only a problem because we have to do another video after this first one, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair real quick. Oh, I forgot the fucking bracelet. Fuck. How do I look? I think this is a little bit extra. Oh, cool. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yay! Okay, so 
up there. Y'all like two minutes We not, might not be able to film at our filming location anymore. Just got told we can't make noise. She's mm -hmm. awake early. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna be at this Made in LA wall. So now that we've decided that we're gonna be here, get ready, we're gonna be good. All right, again, location change, because we had a problem with the camera. So we're just going to our second location, LACMA. I don't know, you may have heard of it or not. It's kind of a famous museum. But, uh, <laughs> uh yeah, Shawnee is right in the back for me. We're wa watching the clarinets. There's a mural over there on, on uh, the same street as LACMA. So I somehow remembered that every time I park on the streets over there. I always see that mural every time. There's like a bunch of food trucks there too, so. Hopefully this works out. Thank you all so much for watching, but it's nap time for me. All right, bye.